Makeup doesn't have to be hard or complicated if you follow these steps. Hi, my name is Andela Hazel and welcome to another video. Till this day, makeup is a nightmare for some people, but trust me, it's not a math equation. So let me show you the correct makeup application order. Step number one is primer. You apply this after your skincare to act as a base because right now your skin is a blank canvas and it requires a base before the actual artwork. Primers can mattify or moisturize the skin. It all depends on what skin type you have. Step number two for me has to be the brows. I've seen people do these after foundation but i simply prefer doing them before while my face is still fresh and my hand won't smudge on any products i also feel like brows can make or break your face so it's better to do them first and pour all of your focus and patience on them and then proceed with the rest of the face if you feel like you're struggling with doing your brows it's most probably because you haven't shaped waxed or threaded them <laughs> Trust me, doing this makes the process so much easier because you just have to follow what's already there. So please get them waxed, shaped, and threaded. Now that you've applied those brow products, step number three is defining those brows with a concealer. This is basically just carving them properly and bringing them to life. When I do this for the bottom of my brows, I just use a concealer that is one or two shades lighter. And then for the top, I'll mostly mix my concealer with the foundation or just use my foundation. Now you're probably wondering why I can use a lighter concealer under the brows, but can't use it on top. It's simple. Using a lighter concealer under is acceptable because it brightens the eyelid area, but also when it's blended, it can be a base for eyeshadow. And whenever you're using eyeshadow, you need a light base that will make the eyeshadow pop. However, for the top of your brows, it must be as seamless and blended as possible to avoid a halo eye. And this is why I advise using a concealer that is as close to your skin tone as possible or just use a foundation again some people don't even conceal the top of their brows most probably because they're trying to avoid the halo eye or just hate the admin of blending but like i said the trick with the top of your brows is mixing the concealer that you're already using with your foundation or just using the foundation on its own this is a no eyeshadow look so we're going to proceed to step number four which is foundation and there really isn't much to foundation besides having to apply it and then blending it properly i like to go in with a dense foundation brush first and then use a beauty sponge after please be careful with the types of brushes you use to blend your foundation they're quite specific so make sure the brush you're using was created for blending foundation I recommend a dense flat brush at the top like the one I'm using because using the wrong brush can ruin your face and no matter how much you try the foundation will not blend and it'll actually leave streaks and marks on your face which can be disheartening. Step number five is concealer again but this time we're using it to highlight certain parts of your face usually the center of your face so your under eyes your forehead your chin your upper lip and your nose and this is just done to enhance those areas and the concealer that you use should be one or two shades lighter but then people who are more advanced and know their way around might use shades way lighter for more dramatic or more brighter and eye. before i blend that out i'm going to do step number six which is contour and contour is basically the opposite of highlights it darkens certain areas of the face so under your cheekbones your jawline the border of your forehead and your nose and this is just done to bring shadows and sculpt those areas so basically to get them snatched once that's done i just blend everything out starting with my concealer and it's so crazy but i've never been a brush girl when it comes to blending my concealer out especially my under eyes i always prefer using a sponge over a brush who knows maybe i haven't found the perfect under eye brush 
but for now a sponge works perfectly for me and when i do use it i spray a bit of my setting spray on it because i find that it works better this when way. i'm done blending the concealer i move on to the contour this is easy because it has its own type of brush a tilted angle brush for the face contour and a tilted small angle brush for the nose contour step number seven is powder i'm using a banana powder to set my face setting your face simply means making sure the liquid products that you've applied so in this case that's concealer you're making sure that it does not move and it does not crack and this is done by applying and pressing powder on all those areas that you highlighted with concealer so your under eyes your nose your forehead your upper lip and your chin you need to pay close attention to your under eyes when doing this because this area is more prone to creasing so make sure that you really press that powder in and blend properly step number eight is bronzer or blush in this case i just use blush and this is done to set the contour that you did and also bring some warmth and color back to the face i cannot live without blush so it's definitely a must Oh no, I'm not done yet. But step number nine for me is setting spray. I like to do this before I do my mascara and lipstick because I find that if I use the spray after, it kind of changes the consistency of the mascara and the lipstick or the lip liner and it might smudge after that. So I prefer doing the step and locking everything before i do mascara and lipstick and once that's locked in step number 10 is mascara as you can see i have individual lashes on so i only apply the mascara on my bottom lashes Last but not least is lip liner and lip gloss. I can never do lipstick or lip gloss without any lip liner. I feel like it's such a crime. What I'm using here is actually an eyebrow pencil. But you know what I love about makeup? One product can serve multiple functions as you can see here. Um, and once I'm done with my lip liner, I just go in with some lip gloss. And this is the final product, which brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you learned something today. Please remember to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.